Hello friends, this video on surface chemistry part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next property is called color. See, now the color of this colloidal solution will depend on the wavelength of the light. See, color depends on lambda of light used. See, as I told, sky is a good example of colloidal solution. Right? Because sky has dust particles, sky has water vapors, right? Sky has the whole uh, hydrogen gas, nitrogen gas, carbon dioxide, all this gas. So sky is a good example of colloidal solution. Now if you see the color of the sky, is it same whole throw? In the morning it is different, in the night it is different, in the, in the evening it is different, in the early morning it is different. Why? Because the color of the light, color of the whole colloidal solution depends on the wavelength of the light scattered by the dispersed particle. So, now if you see the light is coming in this direction, let's suppose sun. Okay. This dispersed particle, these particles will actually disperse the light. So, the wavelength of this light which is dispersed by these particles will actually decide the color. Obviously, right? See, in any color, if you see, uh, if I see this uh, particular mountain as little gray, why? Because sunlight is falling on this and it is the wavelength of the light that is reflected from this is of that color right because this is absorbing all the colors of the sun except that gray color and is reflecting back and I can see that same thing since in the case of collides what is happening is collides are also small particles right it is not an absolute reflection correct it's scattering actually you know light gets scattered because some get reflected, some get refracted, it's called scattering of light. So the color of the colloidal solution depends on the wavelength of the light scattered. Wavelength of the light scattered by the dispersed particle. Let's assume this is my dispersed, this is my particle. Well, this is dispersed particle because this is particle in the dispersed medium. Correct? It is not dependent on the incident light. So if you see the wavelength of the sun is always same. Right? But if you see the sky color is different in the morning, early morning sky color is different in the peak afternoon, sky color is different in the night, uh, in the evening. It's all different. Why? Right? Because the wavelength, the color depends not on, not on the incident light but on the dispersed light. Correct? The scattered light actually. And also, the color of this colloidal solution also changes in the way it is observed by the viewer. For example, the, the viewer is observing it from this direction and the viewer is observing it from this direction. For a given object, the viewer may feel a different color. For example, if I take the mixture of milk and water. This is my glass. It has some milk and water. Milk plus water is nothing but my colloidal solution. So it appears blue from some side, it appears red from some side. So when you are viewing it from the transmitted light, right? When you view it by the angle of transmitted light, you will see it as a red color. When you view it by the reflected light, you will see it as a blue color. So this what I'm trying to say is the uh, color depends also on the angle from which you are viewing it. Correct. A good one more example is uh, see the gold sol if you see the gold sol. Gold sol. The finest gold sol if you prepare very really fine gold sol where the colloidal size is less. See colloidal size also has a range right 1 to 1000 mm. So if you have in this range a lower range maybe 10 nanometer or 20 meter nanometer of colloidal particle in this gold sol, it is red in color. And that's why as I told that Canberra glass is made of gold, it is red in color. But gold is uh, has a gold color, right? So the finest will have the red color. If you increase the size of the sol, again you are still in the same range, 1 to 100 nanometer, right? It will appear purple. You increase it further, I'm talking only about the gold sol here, it will appear blue. And finally, if you make it very, very big, right, very, very big, 
it will be golden. So the same gold saw again there is a huge range here right 1 to 1000 in the initial maybe uh, 50 or 60 nanometer that kind of range it appears red. We increase the size of the gold saw or increase the size of the particle of the gold saw it becomes purple then blue and then golden. Why? Because smaller the size again the refracted light the scattered light is different wavelength right because because the wavelength of this reflected light or scattered light depends on the size of the particles also right so with that the gold saw is a very good example gold saw depending increase the size of the particles the color is changing it's all gold salts all gold salt next is the brownian movement see what is brownian movement see the salt particles this is only for the collides please note only for the collides the salt particles I have drawn one, this is my collide, uh, colloidal solution and I have taken only one particle here just to explain you. The salt particles actually, they, they move at a random zigzag path. If you take any salt particle, they move in a random zigzag path, right? And this type of motion is called Brownian movement. It's named after, named after the discoverer, Roller Brownian, who first discovered this zigzag movement of pollen grains in water under a microscope. So under a microscope only you can absorb this and this was as I told discovered by Brownian and he observed the movement of pollen grains in water and why it happens is it happens because of collision between the molecules of dispersion medium and soil particles so I have this medium the water so there is a molecules here also because the water also I am seeing as a water here but actually it's again the molecules right so the molecules of the dispersion medium in this case water and my soil particles they are also big Right? both are big and they are the same uh, container so they may fight so because of the collision between these um, water molecules here that is my dispersion medium and the salt particles they move in a zigzag direction please note this happens only for collide because the other two extremes as i told either is a suspension or solution in case of suspension the particle size is very big since the particle size is very big the Brownian movement observed is very small because the particle is very big and it is not able to move right because the particle is big it carries mass so it is very difficult to move a fat guy and because of the mass right but it's very easy to move a light guy same thing if it's very fat it's very uh, huge in size very difficult to move so it is not observed in suspension because the particle size is very big in case of solution pure solution the particle size is very small in case of, as I told, since it's very small, the Brownian movement is very fast. The Brownian movement is there, but it is very, very fast. Since it is very fast, you can't observe this under microscope. You can absorb this under a very high powerful instrument, but under a microscope, you will not be able to observe the Brownian movement for pure solution because the particle size is very small and they move at a very, very high speed. Thus, under microscope, you can observe Brownian movement only for collides. Correct? And this Brownian movement actually has a steering effect. And this is the reason why collides are stable. They don't separate, right? They don't coagulate and settle down. Because this Brownian movement is nothing but, if you see, green one is nothing but my colloidal particle. If my colloidal particle is moving around always, it will not settle down. Right? And it's happening because of the collision in the colloidal particle and the molecules of the dispersion medium right so this prominent movement is the reason for the stability of this collides thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre-study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again